Colby Covington going hard after Ben Askren. Uh, so let's just jump right into the quote here. Uh, this was a, in a, an interview with MMA Junkie. Uh, Colby Covington said the following, Ben Askren doesn't even have a UFC win yet. He needs to get a UFC win before he starts talking. And even when he gets, a, gets one UFC win, you're going to need a couple to get a title shot. You don't get gifted title shots because you talk about your shit on Twitter or on Instagram. Hmm, that's a little ironic coming from Colby Covington considering how much attention he's got for his controversial statements, but okay, let's continue the quote. Your resume speaks for itself. His resume is dog shit. He beat nobody. He's got a bunch of nobodies on his list. He was beating a bunch of cans in Asian bingo halls. That's all his resume consists of. Um, can we call that Colby Light? Because that's really not as bad as I was expecting when I first started seeing the headlines pop up. Um, he, ha he has some point. I mean, on, on the one hand, uh, on a, like a sportsmanship side, uh, it's very clear that Ben Askren is fishing for a fight, a title fight with Kamaru Usman. He started a feud, like he started beefing with uh, Usman pretty much as soon as he got to the UFC. Uh, even before he was even in the UFC, he was already beefing with like Darren Till and stuff like that. But that's kind of his style. He is the... He's a very, very mild version of Colby Covington in some ways, which is why I think it's kind of ironic that Covington is giving, you know, giving him grief for quote unquote talking shit on Twitter or Instagram. Now, admittedly, Colby Covington does a lot more about inside the cage, but uh, here, I mean, I think Covington's he's a uh, he's a hypocrite. Uh, he's got no right to to go after someone like Ben Askren, who was very. Vanilla. I mean, he's you know this is somebody's hair and this is boom roasted. It's very, very non-personal stuff. It's it's very like, it's kind of like when your dad is trying to make fun of you. It's 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 pretty harmless. Uh, whereas Covington, he crosses the line a lot uh, with a lot of things. I mean, he even he crossed the line for Dana White, uh, and I mean. I think that some of Colby's behavior has played a part in uh, in him not getting a title shot and the UFC stripping his interim title. And I don't see why he's all why he's so angry about this. Uh, or I, I guess I can't see why, because he does not want Askren to go ahead of him in, in the queue for a title shot. But. I mean, I don't think anyone's discounting the fact that if Covington beats Robbie Lawler, that he's going to get the next title shot. I think most people kind of see that coming. So, Colby, chill out. I mean, honestly, this this is his shtick. Uh, obviously, he, he doesn't act the way he does when cameras are off. Uh, but, you know, this is the person personality that he has decided to, to stick with and that he's decided to use. In that case, that's the one that he's going to get judged for when it comes to these kinds of statements. And here, no, uh, Colby Covington's being a hypocrite. Uh, uh, ben Askren's resume, it does speak for itself. And you can discount all the fighters you want in one championship, but I, I feel like uh, ben Askren's skills have improved time and time again, uh, both in one championship and in Bellator. And while his win over Robbie Lawler in his UFC debut was very controversial, he still got to that point through sheer talent. I mean, he did get a bulldog. It's not like he just was gifted a bulldog choke on Robbie Lawler uh, the moment he stepped into the cage. Like, that's the way they were started up. No, he got into that position from surviving a barrage of heavy strikes, making it through that, and then getting a, an advantageous position with the grappling. Uh, I think, yeah, we can't discount Ben Askren's skills.